Look at all those pho noodles. That raw beef. That tendon. That tripe. That whatever it is. <laughs> Who knows? Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we're outside Dong Thap Noodle, home of the largest, I can't read, world or world's largest bowl of pho, trying to read backwards. Anyway, here with my good friends, Miss Katina Eats Kilos. If you don't know her, she's a beast and apparently she eats kilos and kilos of food. We'll witness it today. My good friend Wynn, all the way from Aussie land, win a win a chicken dinner on Instagram, and Mr. Scott. Scott is the ultimate man, full of muscles, as you can see. So basically we have 90 minutes to eat this 14 or 15 pound bowl of pho. It's absolutely massive. Uh, it is $55 you have to pay up front. If we successfully complete the challenge, we get the bowl for free and $100. I think we're all okay with that. So let's head on in and see what we can do. The record is something like 37 minutes. I don't care about records. I just want to win. Let's go eat. It's letting it cool off. Scott even has an ice pack. Here we go. We have these massive 16 pound bowls of pho, or 15 or 14, something in that range. So we have 90 minutes. We're going to give this a go. This will be a big, big, big hot challenge. But everybody ready? Yes. Ready. All right. So let's get started here. All right. We've got three, two, one, go. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video and what is an absolutely massive, massive pho challenge. So we have lots of little goodies, definitely have some little behind the scenes and stories we're going to get into momentarily. So I hope you get some popcorn, take a seat, relax, and uh, well, let's get into this challenge. I forgot to get an epic thumbnail. Mm. I'll try real quick. Me too. Something like that. Yeah. Epic thumbs. Epic thumbs. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, nice shaky arms. There we go. <laughs> now we resume. So, I'm here again with Katina, Scott, and Wynn, a great group of eaters, and we had a lot of fun this time in Seattle. So this was Katina's first time having pho. This was my probably like third time having pho, where Scott and Wynn were a little bit more familiar with it. So pho is a very interesting dish and it all goes to your taste and preferences. I prefer stronger tasting items so it might not be my favorite whereas um, Wynn really enjoys it. I guess uh, it's a quite a big thing in Australia interestingly enough. Um, again this challenge had uh, at this point had only been completed three times in about 250 attempts and it was absolutely massive weighing in around 15 pounds. Pho is my favorite kind of food ever. Although this is definitely not a beginner challenge or an easy challenge, the nice thing about it is it does offer a cash prize. In fact, when this challenge was first released, it had a $500 cash prize, which has since been diminished down to $100, as I assume once a person or two completed it, they kind of wanted to pull the reins back and didn't want to lose so much money. That being said, the staff were super supportive of eaters. They definitely are cool to see people win, um, which is a very nice treat and surprise. Keep on shoveling. Keep on shoveling. What do we do? We shovel. All of the rice noodles or the noodles in the bowls were actually made in house. And then, of course, the other ingredients seem very fresh as well. They make the own broth and everything. So if you're ever in the area and you want to check out a good place for a bowl of pho, this is definitely a recommended spot. Interestingly enough, um, I mean, the place was pretty much packed, like the whole...
one of it would be the third per uh, would be the fourth person to ever finish the challenge. Wow. Out of about 220 contestants. And Scott's gonna be the fifth right now. What's up, Scott? And we got Scott here. He did it within 11 minutes. Scott did it within uh, Scott? almost 12 minutes. Good job, Scott. And I was so proud of this moment. We had Wynn and Scott that went hard and it really paid off for them. We had Katina here just absolutely killing it. And so I was going to stay with Katina until the end. We we're going to get through this challenge the best we could. Almost done. I'll hang with Katina. <laughs> I'm going to be like another 30 minutes, so I'm just chilling. As long as you do it. <laughs> yeah, give it your best. I'm in no rush. So. Over here. So huge congratulations to Scott Wynn, just absolutely destroyed it. Congratulations, you guys are great eaters like I said. They have the new records. And Miss Katina's doing absolutely excellent herself. We yeah, still have great. something like 65 minutes, maybe even 75, 75 minutes. Yeah. 75 minutes. She's doing great. Just hanging out, enjoying some pho. And uh <laughs> I'm sorry, no, no, okay. she has to <laughs> finish everything. Yeah, we're, uh, we're not even... 
30 minutes in, officially one hour left. Katina is killing it. Well, make it real. Dish Zilla is growing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going fast. Let me stack that one on top of there. It's the leaning tower of dish Zilla. Great idea. Leaning pile of fudge dishes. Really? I did not know that. that is so it like gets your brain off. Uh, it's kind of like shocks your system a little bit, gets you a little more into like, uh, like survival mode. Yeah. yeah. I need to be learning. I uh, can maximize my heart rate variability right now and uh, engage my parasympathetic system. Now. I'm fighting now. And she's doing amazing. Yes. And she doesn't even have much left. And she still has like 50 minutes plus. Mm -hmm. I just love sausage. We, we love pho here today. Yeah, he actually looks like he's dying. Yeah. You okay? That would be me. <laughs> you literally look like you're like... Mm -hmm. We're hanging over the jeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what you do. I'll join you. Actually, mine are already undone. My jeans are already undone. Desperate times, so I'm desperate. Now. Gonna shake it down into the leg. Yeah, sorry. We're, just thinking, we're, making, we're making a monument. That's it. You're down below. Just, just a bit of noodles. You're doing amazing. Absolutely amazing, girl. Noodling. Oh, no. Katina loves noodles. I do. Noodles, double L. <laughs> new dolls, that is new dolls. All right, I'm gonna cut my recording until I get closer to finishing, just to save the battery and space on my memory card. I'll be back with you done. when I'm close. Almost done. Yeah. This, Almost this, and some raw. So gonna take my time. All right, everyone. So. Final times, win was like just over 11 minutes. Scott was very shortly after 11 minutes. Miss Katina, so, 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 so close. She literally just had a couple bites left, but she's gonna call it quits. They wouldn't let me tag in, unfortunately. But she did absolutely great. Katina, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the challenge. Yes. Look, look at the beef on this girl. Look at the arms. Look at that. What's those? Those full games. 100% American beef. So everybody, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, for winning, we do get $100, which is pretty cool. The fuzz for free. And now we get to go see Seattle. I'm really excited. My first time here. So that everybody. Stay happy, healthy, hungry. And until next time. Happy eating. Happy eating. Hey. And fun fact, we were collectively the sixth winners so like three four wait four five and six out of over 230 attempts so those odds are not very good so here we are good friend adam and he brought me what is the best coffee that Washington and Seattle has to offer. So man, like that's so cool. Thanks for coming out, Adam. Yeah, no appreciate worries. the support. Appreciate no the awesome coffee, and I can't wait to try it, man. Yeah, so, man, you're gonna love it. Taste of Seattle. Just look at it. So this, this is Seattle, y'all. Seattle. Hello, Washington. Hello, Seattle. My name is Joel Hansen. Space Needle. Space Needle. Oh. Hi everyone, so here we are in downtown Seattle, Washington. Uh, we are heading towards Pike's Fish Market or something along those lines, some kind of market in general down here. It's supposed to be famous and they apparently throw fish around. So I'm gonna throw a fish and be like, Oi! and throw a fish, I think that'll be a good experience. Uh, so besides that, just gonna have some fun, gotta do some more eating later. Holy jump, it's like there's, I don't know if you can see it. There's a Ferris wheel right there. That's a Ferris wheel. Got some other stuff going on. Scott's been down here. I think Wynn's even been down here. I have been down here. So this is my first time, so let's go see what uh, Seattle, Washington has to offer. I'll just look down the road. So there's all these like little 
That's Scott's head. Look, there's all these little things on the side of the road. Apparently the first Starbucks is down here and it's raining. Yeah. No joke. Yeah. Seattle. So here's a fish market, but apparently this is not the fish market. Maybe they'll still throw us a fish. Got a crab? Hey, he threw us a crab. Throw the crab. Let's get it. Catch it. What's the magic word? Please. I, I was going to say soul. Okay. Please a good one. You buy it, sir? No. <laughs> Here we're going to try some uh, smoked salmon. Which apparently is good for three days, not on ice. <laughs> Next customer, I hope I don't get sick and die. It looks good though. Oh wow. Oh, oh, that, woods from city fish. That's damn good. That's good. You gonna try it? Sure. Yeah, it's very yeah. tasty. Uh, Alderwood smoke. Uh, Alderwood. It is very delicious. Ever to be honest with you. Right? An hour or two, is that what you said? All right, really sweet. I'll try one. It's supposed to taste like cotton candy? Yep, straight up. Cotton candy grape. It's a hybrid grape. What's um, that dude just put the cotton candy sugar in the, in the dirt? So they uh, <laughs> figure it out. You just know? took the, <laughs> took it. It tastes like cotton candy. 100. Like percent Do you try that? That's that. So it's a hybrid grape. He has a couple different varieties. It tastes like cotton candy. He has bubble gum. He has cotton candy, and I feel like this was an accident. It, does. Just, it really does. does. Yeah. Right. It's and what's, what's this? An opal apple? Yeah. Does it taste like anything special? Uh, Thank you. So this one is a new and improved version of an older apple. It's super sweet. It tastes good. It doesn't taste like cotton candy. What's this? Dehydrated sugar fried strawberry. Oh, wow. We call them crackberries. A dehydrated sugar fried strawberry. I'll just go crackberry. Dehydrated sugar fried crackberry. I think. Oh wow. I think these are my favorite, but these are super crisp. You know what I mean? It's a jam. Like, it tastes like a jam. Yeah. Yeah, like strawberry jelly. Sugar. It's like a strawberry jam in a solid. Dude, oh, try one of these. I already had those. What mango? Cotton candy grape. Go to. I had a cotton candy grape. This is crazy. Wow, everything. Yeah. And, and a really crackberry. Good. Here we got a mango. So it's a southern Indian root stock coming out of California. And so the texture of it's not going to be stringy or fibrous at all. A lot of tropical get stringy. Yeah. Amazing. We're really Bam. impressed with this one. So like I love mangoes, one of my favorite fruits. But yeah, they're usually stringy. Yeah. There is this is like soft as butter. Yeah. That's a good way to put buttery, velvety, I've heard. You guys can actually grow mangoes down there, right? No. Oh, okay. well, I think we can. <laughs> yeah. Sure we can. Uh, we do, I do YouTube videos. Yeah. Try a mango? Say hi. She'll try the mango. Try the mango. Where are you from? I live in Canada. Right on. It's super soft. Oh, it's soft, right? You try one of these. It's kind of right. I did. Yeah, the the like cotton hot. candy grapes are amazing. I love those. I'm definitely trying the gap. Really? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, like, it, like, it tastes fake, but like so good. <laughs> I've never seen crab, like king crab legs this big. Yeah, like they're massive. Can we do a crab? Oh, I should put this back here. Okay. Massive. <laughs> Look how big this one is. Like. Massive, yeah. Big crabs, right? So massive. Literally everywhere you go, there's like jam samples. Like fish samples. I got some outside. Yeah, outer space man. Everything, everything kind of sample. Oh, look, we even have some barbecue. I like barbecue. Yeah. We even have whatever this is. Frog on a stick. Yeah, frog on a stick. Chicken stuff. Oh boy. Brisket. I like brisket. It looks looks a little dry, but I do like briskets. We have some cookies, some more desserts like donuts, only four bucks each. Excuse me, guys. I think it's a dollar twenty-five. That looks good. Holy jumpets! That's a big donut. 
So here is the notorious Pike's Place Fish Company where they throw fish. So you can buy some salmon, you can buy some black cod. They only sell wild caught stuff. Apparently that's a black cod. This is a salmon. And he's throwing ice on all the fish. We have some octopus. We have some monkfish. We have some rockfish. Looks like he's eating part of something. That guy looks pretty cool. We have some uh, golden trout, which look like goldfish. And then clams, which are apparently alive. And then mackerel and squid. Apparently they pack for airline travel and they throw a fish every five to 10 minutes. Of course they have crabs, Dungeness crabs, it's pretty west coast, king crab legs, these ones aren't as big as the other place. Oysters, cock uh, crab cocktail, obviously prawns. Those are big lobster tails. Say fifty dollars a pound. That's 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 way too much. I live on the east coast. That's massive. Huh? The big, They're about a pound and a half a piece. Big lobster tail. Yeah. That's some uh, oysters. Lots of different oysters. Wow, these ones are massive. That's a big oyster right there. These ones are pretty small comparatively. Prawns. Got some cool stuff here. There's some uh, there's some halibut right in there. Lots of fish stuff. Fish! I wonder how many times they do that a day. Definitely a few. They just they just threw a fish and they dropped it. I wish I would have got that on camera. But they dropped it. They dropped the fish. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna pick it up. Yeah, pick it off, rinse it off, and sell it, right? Half price, half price. Half price, yeah. This was one of the official fish that were thrown, however, it didn't didn't make it. Yeah. And then of course we have some uh, beautiful looking steaks. People are cheering for something. And then this is a super, super cool view. This is literally like this is the market, so in there's the market. And then right out here, you just have the ocean. Literally like way high up, and you just have the ocean. So you can look up over the ocean from the market. I bet this is really beautiful in the summer. You can also go in there. There's like a little cafeteria or something with seats and over see the water. So. Yeah, this is beautiful though, actually. Like, nice sky, even though it's kind of rainy. Nice view. Would recommend. Yeah, Just beautiful. don't fall down and don't drop my camera. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Joel Hansen here. As you should already know that. But today we have a very special, awesome, amazing gift from a Mr. Adam who came to watch us do a big pho challenge at Dong Thap in Seattle. So here we have some coffee from a muddy cup. This is, it says Cafe Fermenino. I'm not sure what that is, uh, but it's, it says Mexico. So this is like a blend of their little coffee. Apparently this is the best coffee around Seattle. They like roast all their own beans and all this magical stuff, which it sounds amazing. It smells so, so, so good. Like, and it smells so strong. So we're gonna cook some of this up. Not cooking, but like metaphorically cook it up. We're gonna, what do you even call it? Brew. We're going to brew some coffee, try this thing out, and again, thank you Mr. Adam. You rock. Appreciate the support. And let's try some of Seattle's best coffee. So this is what the coffee looks like. It looks like beautifully ground coffee. I don't think I can get any like closer macro-ish whatever on that, but beautifully ground coffee. No, it didn't help. Thank you though. You guys have all the help here guys, but beautifully ground coffee. Snort it. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not do that. What do you think, Win? I think this coffee is absolutely amazing. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Dope. Feeling I, it. I gotta try it. Yeah. You gonna try some? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Oh, I'll we'll get we share. Own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give it I own. mean, we like to share, but you we know. share everything in this house. <laughs> Our <laughs> house. That's nice. It's very like. 
how do I put it? I'm like, I'm not a coffee connoisseur, so excuse my, you know, lack of uh, explicit uh, terminology, but... Earthy. It just tastes very pleasant. It's a very pleasant cup of coffee. Earthy? I don't know. It's like, it's not like crazy, um... Like, it's, it's a very, I'd say like a very nice medium-ish ish cup of coffee like it tastes very nice it's warm very pleasant oh very smooth that's how i'll put it very smooth. it's very smooth that's a really good way to put it very goes smooth down easy yeah. very smooth not bitter goes down easy i dig what do you think dude yeah i dig a lot it's good i like it i could drink three more cups yeah oh that thank you adam really appreciate the coffee it's good mm -hmm. that's a good way to put it very smooth not bitter I actually really, actually now I'm going through this. I really like this actually. Definitely a buy. Cheers, my friend, and thanks for coming out, Adam. Drink some coffee, y'all. I like this. A muddy cup, but this is not a muddy cup. This is a good cup. Yeah.